The Lorient Festival is a perfect example of the impact that Celtic music still has, where so many have gathered. All for the same reason, for the love of it. It is the constant evolution, the movement of it, the respect and reverence to the past and what has come before us. But it is also an eye on the future and an understanding of the present. So this is a particularly big event um, for the Celtic nations. It's not just the, the usual suspects, but people from Asturia and uh, Galicia who also claim to be uh, Celts as well. And it's, it's a massive uh, festival. So even though we're a very small island, they think a lot of having the Manx at the festival too. I usually tell people that it's, it's a lot like TT at home, where, where the whole island gets involved with TT and it's just one big party for two weeks. It, I, I try, it's not quite the same, it's on a much bigger scale, but basically the entire city just turns into a great big festival for the, for the ten days and everybody gets involved. There are locals just here the whole time. People actually come from all over France and other places all over the world just to, to come and be a part of this huge, huge festival. And there's also a massive uh, fringe festival that goes on alongside it as well. So you can actually come and not have to spend lots of money on all the big concerts and things. You can just happily wander around and just see the, the free venues at the pubs and bars around the place as well. So there's, there's two different festival experiences, really. So lots of people that come, they come and stay, they listen to the music, they stop and have a pint of, uh, of the, the bushies, and they uh, have a go at the, the queenies, which they love, and the um, cheese. They really love the, uh, the Manx cheeses. So we'll have the, the main showcase at the festival. We'll have a great big tent. We'll be the focal point, really sell the Isle of Man to people over here and, and basically put us on the map so people know where we are, who we are, and a bit about our culture and history as well. We, we, are, we are trying to sell the image and, and really get our, a name for ourselves. So look, we, we actually have really good musicians too, and we have a fantastic culture. And we just want to share it with the world and get more people to know about us so we're, we're not overlooked as much as we used to be in the past. I, I think the important thing is that when you come to a festival like this, um, you do mix with other, other groups. And I think from, from a point of view, being one of the older members of the group and one of the leaders in the group, that our younger members have to see different styles of dancing. I think when we live at home, we get very used to Manx dancing, but when we're, we're away, they actually can see how the other different Celtic nations um, do dance, and they can see the similarities and realise that actually they're part of a bigger thing, the Isle of Man. Um, we're very good at what we do, dance-wise and culture-wise, um, but we tend to know everybody involved in the culture. When we come away here, they can experience a breadth of culture from, from all the Celtic nations and really be inspired. And I think that's what's happened with the, with the two ladies here with me today, but also the rest of the group, that just to be inspired to actually continue in the culture, um, but really take it on to an, a new level of really trying to push the boundaries forward. And, um, and that's come from, from only being at festivals such as Lorient. It's really important. I'd just like to say that it's really good for us to be in Lorient. We love Lorient and we, we love coming here. So Well, this is the biggest thing we've been to, but um, in recent years, Dewan's been to like Galicia and Ireland, um, and Court, you've been to Cornwall. Well, we've traveled, we've done a lot of different ones. Yeah, I think the group in, in, in its different guises have been all around the Celtic world, and uh, I'm really pleased that we do get the opportunity to come here because, you know, it is an honor to be here, and, but to come away with, with a group of people that you've known and taught since they were young um, is, is a, especially important, you know, and it's a great honour for, for myself and Sue to really lead a, a talented group of, uh, of girls and, and musicians and dancers, it's lovely. It's an up and on and to bigger places, well, it's the year of the Manx next year, so hopefully we'll hopefully be, back. be involved and yeah. be back, but we've got, a, we've got a really good set of young ones coming up, mm. um, so we're trying to change, like, train them up to be, what, to the to the standard we are, and if not better, because some of them are fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot bigger than I expected. Um, a lot of people have been telling me about it, but I genuinely think you have to come to fully understand it. Um, 
and just walking around, it's the energy, the, the, the whole eclectic mix of so many different nations that have come together with a common theme and it's fantastic. It's, I've never been to anything like this. They're drinking Manx beer, they're eating Manx food, they're listening to incredible Manx music and it, it just it fills you with pride. And it's also put an amazing perspective on this whole journey really for me to see all of the Celtic music really in one place and, and to wander between tents and to hear the differences, the very obvious differences and also perhaps more interesting, the, the common thread between them all. I think it's a fantastic show of Celtic nations and how they all have something in common. I don't think one, one Celtic nation couldn't do this on their own, even the big ones like Ireland and Scotland. But bringing them all together, and there's a lot of similarities actually. When you go around and you look at some of the things that are going on in the language, there's a lot of similarities between all the Celtic nations. And I mean, I'm originally from Scotland, so I, I haven't even got to the Scottish tent yet. I've been concentrating more on the, the Isle of Man tent, but even the Irish tent, you see the, the similarities there with what the Isle of Man has to offer. But then I still believe we are unique, even within the Celtic nations. We've got a uniqueness about us. And I think for next year, we have to try and get that uniqueness across. And I think the Isle of Man, we punch above our weight when it comes to the Celtic nations and the food, the drink, the heritage, the culture. And I think we have to maybe shout a bit louder about it. We are joint host nations of a massive event and we cannot just dismiss this. We have got to show them what the Isle of Man is about. And I, I would like to sincerely hope that as host nations, we will see quite a few um, of the other Manx organisations getting involved and I'm sure there'll be some of the um, Manx politicians will come over and I think it's important, I mean I've just run into the Irish president who's over um, and it just shows how important this is to the Irish nation well why can't it be important to the Manx nation I think we need to do more for next year I think we really need to show what we've got to offer and the crowds are just phenomenal um, and I just think we're missing, we're missing a trek and I think we, we need to show that next year.